morning, everyone, and welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church. This is our Sunday morning devotion for July 9th, 2023. Uh, we are joined today by uh, our Senior Warden Emeritus, Mr. Peter Lee, who's going to be do the responses, and also by Gladys over here, who just has come to really love church. Uh, please remember that we are going to continue with our Wednesday offering of a 4 p.m. in-person Bible study in the St. Matthew's Conference Room. At 5 o'clock, we'll stop and take a break and then come down to the sanctuary here for a Eucharist, midweek Eucharist, which is a wonderful way to uh, get ourselves through the rest of the week. So please come and join us for either one or both. Um, we look forward to having you with us. And with that, uh, let's begin our Sunday devotion for July 9th with our gathering prayer. Please join us. Creator, we, we give, give you thanks for all you are and all you bring to us for our visit within your creation. In Jesus, you place the gospel in the center of this sacred circle through which all of creation is related. You show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and commitment as we grow in your spirit. For you are God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we continue with the gathering psalm of praise. Open my lips, O Lord. And my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again. And sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
A reading from Matthew. Jesus said to the crowd, To what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest in your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thus ends the reading. Wow, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Sounds very, very different from what we were hearing uh, a couple of readings back about you're going to have to leave mother and father and it's going to be mother against daughter-in-law. We've got some very uh, contradictory statements uh, coming from Jesus uh, along the way. And uh, here, here we are, um, now that we have decided that we're going to sacrifice everything and uh, completely deny everything and follow Jesus, uh, then all of a sudden the yoke is easy and the burden is light. It doesn't mean that the load is gone. It doesn't mean that there's nothing left to carry, uh, but it's going to be a lot easier with a yoke, uh, which makes things easier to drag and pull. And uh, we're not pulling it alone. Uh, when we put the yoke over ourselves, we have Jesus with us to be with us through the challenges and trials and tribulations of our life. Um, I don't think it's particularly easy to be a Christian, uh, especially in 2023 when the church is countercultural, uh, and especially the kind of church th that we have with the Episcopal Church that is very social justice oriented and pretty progressive in many ways. Uh, even in, within the church, we are countercultural, and it's not an easy place to be. Uh, it can be very lonely for many of us, and it can be very, very hard work, but it all manages to get done, and God is given glory uh, because we are grounded in the presence of Christ, grounded through the sacraments, uh, grounded through the prayers of the community. And so the load that we have to carry, the crosses we have to bear, are endurable, and we can get through them. Uh, think of uh, Good Shepherd Church and the strife that it's been through uh, in the last 10 years. Um, losing a rector, uh, going through an interim period, uh, then having a failed search, and uh, going through a period of supply clergy, uh, getting a, calling a rector and having to wait so long, and then um, his resignation, and then another period uh, kind of in the wilderness, and then COVID-19 comes along, and then uh, a, a new priest comes, and in the middle of COVID, and we're all trying to adjust to life, and uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, but we stepped out in faith, uh, knowing that if we were uh, 
steadfast in our prayers uh, that things would work out the way God meant for them to work out. And so uh, we, we all did have a yoke to carry, but the yoke was easy and the burden was light. And we're, we're in good shape. Uh, we're in good shape financially and we're in excellent shape spiritually. And um, so I think that we have made this gospel come, come to life. Uh, did it take sacrifices? Yeah. Uh, we, we had to sacrifice a lot of our identity a lot, let go of a lot of who we were in the past, uh, figure out who we are now and embrace that yoke. And uh, now we move together in mission and ministry uh, with no guarantees of any outcomes, but uh, being faithful in the process along the way, continuing to serve God. And so, yeah, the yoke is easy and the burden is light uh, because we've made that commitment and uh, we continue to make that commitment and move forward toward the light. And that is a good and wonderful thing. So we give thanks for the yoke and we give thanks that the yoke is easy and the burden is light because of the presence of Jesus. And now please join Peter and me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now I invite your prayers for the Universal Church, its members, and its mission. I invite your prayers for the nation and all in authority. I invite your prayers for the welfare of the world. I invite your prayers for the concerns of the local community. I invite your prayers for those who suffer and those in any trouble. And I invite your prayers for the departed. And please join us in the Lord's Prayer. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.